Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or to you European viewer, the Philosopher's Stone, is the single worst book ever written. And I've read the Bible ten times. I don't know why. It was, you know, it was there in the hotel room. Anyway, this book sucks. I had a genius idea that is now ruined because of this piece of shit book. I was going to do a series of videos called Let's Reads. Like, you know, there's all Let's Plays, Let's Jerk Offs, Let's Run Our Dog Out Into Traffic and Film It. Like, all those videos like that that are all over every corner of YouTube. I, I came up with a genius concept where I was going to read a piece of literature here for you guys. I got through part one today and I can tell you right now, I, I, I'll be damned if I'm going to upload another segment. Now granted, part one that I made this morning was, was a work of utter brilliance, utter genius, which is no short of anything that comes out on this channel. But this book, this book, all right, you want to know what's wrong with it? Let me get into detail here. First off, it doesn't explain how there isn't like any known footage of all these people running into this pillar at a train station and disappearing. Like, there's no sort of like viral videos of it or anything, or like security footage of the kids mysteriously disappearing as they run into this pillar at this train station and vanish to leave the muggle world and go into the the, the, the hair Harry Potter wizarding world. Like, that's not explained like, like how did no one ever notice that? Like how is there not any known existence of this in the muggle world? Like they can only do the, you know, the vanishing spells of the people's memories so much, like they, there would have to be all sorts of like video footage. Like there's there's video footage of, of people faking aliens landing on the planet and stuff, but in this like none of that footage like leaked out and the public realm. It's not like, oh, there's, this, there's there's possibly this big secret world of wizards, but it's it's not addressed. It's somehow been so covertly done. You get out of here. No, that 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 would never be covered up that well. And on top of that, when the kids come into Hogwarts, they're all like, like nine or ten years old, and they, they all know how to read. How do they know how to read? Like, do the parents teach them how to read? Do they go to some muggle school? It's not explained. They ran someone like Harry. He went to the muggle school system before he came over to the Wizarding World, so that was explained. But people like Weasley family, they don't send their kids to muggle schools. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Weasley are just so against the muggles that, you know, they would never send their kids out into the real world, the, the real human world. I mean, it's just so many conflicting things about this. It, just, it doesn't make any sense. It's like this book was, like, fake. Why not, why not write about, like, you know, a real story? Like, you know, people that like to, you know, dress up in furry animal outfits and fuck each other in the ass. Like, that's more interesting than this. Speaking of getting fucked in the ass, I read a fan fiction about Harry Potter where Hermione gets fucked in the ass by a three-dicked doll. That's a lot more creative than the shit that's in this book. Again, you know, a little unique and wondering how a dog with three dicks got it into Hermione's ass, but at least they explained it in this book. They explained nothing. Probably the worst piece of literature ever written, and again, I've read the Bible. Ten times. It was in the little drawer next to the bed in the hotel room. What else are you going to do? Anyway. Terrible, terrible, terrible book. Don't read it. If they make a movie out of this, it will suck. Unless it's porn and they somehow involve an adult age Hermione and three dick dog. That's the only thing that can save this.